Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In discrete mathematics, let us discuss about pictorial representation of relations. Now, look at these pictures. First, here, relation on R. On R means real numbers. Let S be the relation on the set R of real numbers that is S is a subset of R square that means R square is we know that it's R into R or related to R itself frequently S contains of all ordered pairs of real numbers which satisfy some equation for example P of x comma y equals 0 such that such that x square plus y square equal y square. Here this relation between the variables x and y is x square plus y square equal to phi square for any real numbers. All set of points is inside the inside as well as that line in the circle. It represents the circle. Since R square can be represented by the set of points in the plan, we can picture S by emphasizing those points in the plan which belongs to S. The pictorial representation of the relation is sometimes called the graph of the relation. For example, the graph of relation x square plus y square equal to phi square is a circle which is which is center at the origin and the radius is phi. Now look at this picture here. Look at this relation in this. There is an important way of picturing a relation or on a finite set. First we write down the elements of the set and then we draw an arrow from each element x to each element y whenever x is related to y. Look at this diagram it is called directed graph of the relation. Here look at the set A. is an element having 1, 2, 3, 4. The set A have the elements 1, 2, 3, 4. Look at this relation by using this picture. We go here. First, 1 is related to 2. 1 is related to 2 and 1 is 2 is related to, to itself and 2 is related to 4 is also two is related to 4 and 3 is related to 2. And 3 is related to 2, 3 is related to 4 or so. And 4 is related to 1. And 4 is related to 1 and 4 is related to 3. Here, observe that there is an arrow from 2 itself here, which means since 2 is related to 2 under R. This directed graph is called a directed graph. This directed graph will be studied in detail in videos. Now, the picture relations 
suppose a and b are a finite sets then then there are two ways of picturing a relation a to b from a rectangular array that is matrix a as well as and write down the elements a and b into two disjoint disks that two things we will discuss here now Look at here these two relations now. X, Y, Z, and related to one, two, three. Here one and X is suppose there is no relation, put zero. One and two is one relation. One and two is one relation. 2 into x is 0 relation, 2 into y is 0 relation, 2 in, there is no relation. That means 2 and z is no relations. 3 into x is 0 relation, 3 into 1 is 3 into y is 1 relation, 3 into z is 0 relation. These things can be represented by pictures like two circles by. Now like first elements 1, 2, 3 and second element x, y, z. Here 1 is related to y, 1 is related to y, one is related to y, one is related to z. And two, 2 is not related to 0, 2 is not related to have no relations with x, y, z. About 3 is related to y. And these are only these things are related like. So 2 is of representation array matrix arrangements of this one. Now Next one, composition of relations. Yo, let A, B, and C are sets, some given sets, and R is a relation. R is relation A to B and S is S is related to B to C. That is R is related that is that is we can say R is related to or is a subset of or is a subset of A to B and A C subset of B cross C. Then then you can say R and S give rise to relation A to C. R and S give rise to A to C denoted by which is denoted by by R related to S and defined by A or related to S to C if for some B's 
if B is an element of B, then you can say A or B and B is C. That means B is element of B is element of B here, A related to B and B related to B is C. The relation RO is called the composition of R and S. The relation ROS means composition of R and S. Composition of R and S. Now, for example, look at this example. Here, let A is 1, 2, 3, 4. B is A, B, C, D. And C is X, Y, Z. Now we will consider the relations as R is related to 1A, that is R is related to A to be 1A, 1A, suppose 2D, 2D, 3A, 3B, 3D and S is related to B X and B Z and C Y D Z. Now we consider these relations R and S in pictorial form. Look at here. This first first here R relation look at R relations here one two two three and four. A, B, C, D, then one is related to A and two is related to D and three is related to A and three is related to B and three is related to D. And from this A to A, B, C to relation to X, Y, Z, this relation is X, Y, this is relation is B to X, B to Z, and C to Y, and D to Z. Now, next one, composition relation in matrix form. Now, composite relation and matrix form. For the table example, here, matrix R. Look at here.
Let it power is here. One, two, three. Here A, B, C, D. Here relation <coughs> one to A. One to A is one relation. One to A is one relation. Then one to B. One to B no relation. That is zero. Like that, you have to fill <coughs> one to C no relation. Here there is no relation one to C and one to D is zero relation. Like this, we can fill for other numbers. Zero, zero relation, zero relation, one relation. That is two to D is one relation. Then three, four also. Uh, three is one. One zero one, one one zero one, and four zero zero. There, there is no relation four to A B C. There is no relation. Yeah, this is a matrix set. Now, similarly, you can write M S. Matrix relation for relation S is A, B, C, D. Here X, Y, Z. A to X, look at here. A to X, no relation. That is 0. A to Y, no relation. A to Z. A is not related to X, Y, Z anywhere else. So here 0, 0, 0. B is related to X and Z. B is related to X and Z. And C is related to 0, 1, 0. And D is related to 0, 0, 1. Which means D is related to Z. D is related to Z, one, one relation. So far, I have done about pictorial. Views for relations. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.